and welcome back everybody to uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I am an old guy gaming and we're going to pick up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we uh, we spent a little bit of time off in that area and we found uh, we found another uh, stem pack or health pack over there. And uh, now we're going to uh, once again work our way uh, into the main area here. The last, uh, the last time we attempted that uh, we got killed and so we ended up back at the ship because we had not yet found a save point, but hopefully uh, we'll find one of those before we succumb the next time. So let's jump in and do this. Oh, you know what? He's only showing that I have two stem packs. Does that mean we gotta go all the way back and do that again? I could have sworn we saved after we did that. Maybe we didn't. All right, well, we're gonna have to go back this way then. Because I should have three health packs now. So, let's see here. Watch out, BD. It almost friendly. Okay. Those little bastards are harder to kill than they look, man. Moving out. Can't believe I have to do this over again, man. What the hell? Okay. So, we'll get rushed by three of these guys, so I like to try and... Pull one at a time if we can. Yeah, it, it started our whole progress over again because we had scanned these guys before. Basically, there's, these are like little bat-rat creatures. And like I said, they're actually nastier than they appear. Especially if you have a couple of them. And I'm a noob too, so there's that as well. Ruruski, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what is that? 18 months. My goodness, thank you so much for that, dear. Really appreciate it. And welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. We're playing a little Star Wars today, Miru. Thank you so much. Okay, so we found... Yeah, up there is where we got the extra health pack. I kind of figured stuff like that, though, even if we die, it wouldn't make us do that part over again, but apparently it does. So we got to really make sure we save, uh, you know, the next time we... Uh, after we do stuff like this. Because in some cases, you know, the game still... Like, Dark Souls would save your progress on some things, even if you did die things that you've obtained even Mother though you have to go back to, to the area child warm you were on the run from something yeah so um cal who is our character for those of you who are watching for the first time uh he's he one of the things that he's able to do which is kind of unique because uh, not all jedi can do this is he can touch an object and then uh you know get a glimpse of the of the history uh you know of that object or the or what happened related to it in the past uh, so he just found a piece of cloth that a mother was trying to help her kid with. Alright, so let's hold this up so we can see where we're going. It's really dark in here. And then this... This uh, loot crate here will give us uh, a new health pack. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. Nice. Okay, now we've got three health packs. We went through this in the last episode too. Those of you guys who've been watching, but again, it just it didn't save our progress, unfortunately. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna save before we do anything else. <laughs> Um, wait a minute, did I, oh, right, okay. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire, they found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. 
Just got our convoy. Hmm, she's just not I'll afraid of the, the dark. She's not even afraid of the deep dark. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friend Maruski has joined us. Welcome, Maru. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go save. Um, I, did we go in here? I don't remember if I went in here or not. Yeah, here's a here's a thing, Madoodle. Come back here. Something we can use? A new BD1 skin. Okay. There's a lot of you know like visual customization things you can do in the game. Change your, the way your lightsaber looks, the way your armor looks, the ship, your robot, that sort of thing. Your droid. Um, I wonder too then if we. I think there was one thing in this room as well. So let's go back here for a second. I remember correctly and then we'll save so that way we yeah save all that progress storage crate it stores stuff <laughs> actually it tells us that it's made to withstand the high winds of this planet so it's kind of telling us a little bit about the the planet itself okay tight. that door's locked oh my goodness it's dark back here Yeah, this is... I'm really having fun playing this game, Miru. Lots of fun. Okay, yeah, here's the other crate. I knew there was one back... another one back here. Come back here. What's that mean, one? Poncho material, okay. Sounds like he said Skungus got in his quarters, whatever the hell that means. I guess we're going to find out, huh? Alright, now, let's go save. So, if and when we die again, we don't have to do this all over a third time. What a novel idea, huh? So we have a save point here in our ship. i got to remember where it's at, though. Did we do this already? Looks lonely in there. Better find more seeds. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be finding seeds for, uh, what's his name's terrarium, the captain of this ship. Here's our save point. Thank you, Mibru. Yeah, I'm having fun with it. Okay. All right, let's go and progress. Do you have anything more to say to us? I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Okay, no pressure. <laughs> For everyone. Prof was awesome. It's too bad we lost him. Alright, let's do this. So I don't think we can uh, get through that door again. We'll unlock it from the other side. But we're going to have to go around. It's Arcanus! Welcome, dude! Hello, Arcanus! What is going on, my friend? Good to see you. Oh, you know what? We didn't go around here. Maybe there's a secret something something over here. No, nah, I don't see any secret something somethings over here. All right, so how I gotta remember how we get back over to that side. I guess we have. Do we have to go back this way again? Yeah, I think we do. Okay, because this should be locked. Yeah. It's locked. When we get around the other side, though, we will be able to unlock it. Can't get back up that way. That's right. This is good practice for my noobish force skills here. Alright, so... 
Let's go ahead and slow him down. Okay. Now we gotta fight these bastards again. Let's wait for him to get over there. Okay, here we go. Come here. Come to Papa. Okay. That wasn't very eloquent, but hey. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, so we have to go around this way. The thing is, is as far as I've gotten, you know, through here, there isn't a, another save point. But here's what we can do, though. Excellent. Now we're gonna go save again. <laughs> That way, if we die, we can just go through that gate. Sorry, I just don't want to have to do all this stuff all over again, like a third time. You understand. Y'all understand, right? Okay. Miru and Arcanus, hope you guys are having a good Sunday. My day's going pretty well, overall. Can't complain too much. Okay. I wonder if that door that uh, the captain dudes buy, we can get in and out of that one too. Oh no, that's not a door, that's the landing gear. Good work. Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day, when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. <laughs> he's a little cantankerous, but he's a good guy. It's dangerous being on the run, huh? You're telling me. You lose someone? His name is Prof. Traded his life for mine. Sounds like a tough, strong guy. <laughs> Not far from myself. <laughs> he was. Since the day I stepped foot on Braca, he watched over me. Never complained. Never complained? On that trash heap? I just hope he didn't do it for nothing. They never do, kid. They never do. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's go! Now we got full health again. Okay, let's let this rat bat dude go mix it up with these stormtroopers. Oh shit! I gotta time that just right, so. Those blaster bolts hurt! I don't think. Can we open this? No. He's scanning the stormtroopers. Okay, we already read this last time. Uh, basically, if you guys have not lived on planet Earth for the I don't last know to call him, 35 years, common, but man, I'm sure glad this here, thing's buddy. called a stormtrooper, just in case you didn't know that. <laughs> oh, what did you find, little buddy? A little sign there. Thanks for What's that say? This area is off limits. Imperial code 94364. No. no selling or trading. Okay. I don't think we're planning on selling or trading anything. Abandoned village. So you know, if we see one of those big things, I'm running. Why? One of those big things? Says you. I'd rather live than try to kill one of those. 
He said a Chotaz? What in the hell is a, cho a Chotaz? I have the sinking feeling we're going to find out. Okay. Oh, they're fighting the bat thing. Okay. Alright, so we want to make sure we don't aggro those guys and those guys at the same time. Oh, and there's a guy there, too. Okay. Hey, did you see that? There! Up there! Come at me, bro. You gonna shoot? The Jedi is here. Did not get all the rewards for this. Okay, that takes care of those guys. All right. Um, let's see here. We need to. There's something up here, I think. Oh, you want me to scan? What are we scanning? Scout Trooper. Can block limited lightsaber attacks, but defense is easily diminished. Easily defeated in single combat, but dangerous in numbers. Imperial Scout Troopers are specially trained stormtroopers in service to the Galactic Empire for a range of missions. They are equipped with light armor for greater mobility and specialized helmets that allow for greater adaptability. Armed with electro, electro riot batons, when blasters are identified as insufficient, they are especially skilled in melee combat, crowd control, and defense against a lightsaber. Hmm. Okay. I don't see anything up here. I wonder if this was just like an alternate route we could have taken. All right. I know our health is kind of low. Okay, we got a, a force echo here. Or a sense echo, rather. <clears throat> Take her and go. I'll lead them away. I'll start. No! A bag left by a family is that he came separate. The father accused it. Uh, uh, or, sorry, the father caused a distraction, allowing the mother to escape with her child. Yeah, we did that last time, too. Um, okay, can't go in there. All right, let's Help pop me, Let's pop one of these now. Because one stim pack in the hand is better than two in the bush, you know? Oh, you found something else. It's all lies. Eviction notice. Civilians must immediately report for relocation. Looters will be shot in accordance with Imperial Code 94364. We're going to have to find out what that code is all about. Well, I, I think we actually are finding out what it's about. No selling or trading without proper authorization and explicit consent. This property and its belongings are now under the protection of the Galactic Empire. General Mark on 201st Squad. The Empire just wanted this land. Okay, let's go back up through this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> Suck it, man. We kicked the shit out of him, didn't we? <laughs> okay. I see you down there. Correction, you saw me down here. You're not seeing anything anymore. Making sure there's nothing over that way. Oh, it works.
Oh, a save point. Woot. Okay, good. Good deal. Okay, this is pretty much as as far as we... Oh, we got a skill point too. That's even better. Uh, as we got last time, so... Uh, all right, so let's see. This is maximum forces increased. So it doesn't look like it's going to let us put any more points into the force tree for now. I guess we we must have met some kind of a level cap. So how about if we... This is all lightsaber skill stuff, and this is like just health. I think health is probably a good idea. Let's take a, a point in health. Maximum life increased. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Gariki Iki. Now, one thing about using these, though, is when when you do rest and meditate, it re-pops the enemies. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is that this is that uh, ha that hangar we were in earlier. Excellent. Okay. That area over there kind of looks like the place that we found the extra stim pack. In fact, it is. I'm sure it is. That's kind of cool. Alright, so we got a dude over there. Jedi spotted. I understand. Strike him quickly. Where are these guys coming from? Got him. Okay, Jedi is that lost. Is that it for the ranged guys? I think so. <clears throat> I can't wait till we get force push and force pull. Those are going to be fun because I used those a lot when I played uh, Jedi Outcast. Really fun force skills to use. You can push bad guys over a cliff and stuff. I guess those guys down there don't see us. They're not looking up enough. got those guys out of the way. I don't think we have to worry about the baton dudes unless they know how to climb. Oh, we... Did we... We missed a chest over there. We gotta go back. Totally missed that. I, th I think we missed it. Did we miss it? Yeah, we sure did. Hey, now. Something we can use? Alpha material required. Okay, we'll have to look at that <clears throat> when we get on the ship. They were talking about uh, a new monster that we're going to encounter, I'm sure, soon. It's inevitable. Ooh, that's a long way down. Got another chest. Get it, BD. All right then. What is it? Light saber sleeve acquired. Sweet. Okay. Nothing in there. Oh, you know what? There's a thingamadoodle down there. Um. Okay, let's go this way. I 
thing is though is it looks to me like once we go over oh there's a save point right there once we go over there I don't know if we can get back here it does not look like we can so we need to get the thingamadoodle it's very important that we get the thingamadoodle a sense echo Taking us. The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees shipped off to work camps. Or worse. Eviction. A pack left by villagers forced from their homes by the Empire and shipped off to labor camps or worse. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but that gave me a substantial amount of XP. So in addition to doing it, you know, for the sake of the story, it's definitely worth you know, going after that stuff. Okay, we're gonna have to fight these guys probably then. Eyes up. This guy's got a yellow thing of Madoodle on his shoulder, so he's probably. I don't know if that means he's a little tougher than the other guy. Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. Okay. Here. Toss it. Let's not take any chances now. Alright. Oh shit. <laughs> that should have that should have cut him like directly in half there. Alright. I was trying to uh work a different combination and it wasn't obviously wasn't working, so. See Sometimes I come across stuff like this and it ha kind of has like a red outline on it, but I can't do anything with it. I It's probably something... Whoa. I got stuck there. Probably something I need either force push or force pull for. Because if I do this... See, it doesn't do anything. That's my slow... Force slow... Uh, skill there. Okay, it doesn't look like we can get in here. Whoa, camera. Okay, we got a dude down here. Anything in this little alcove? No, nope. except for flowers. All right, we can. Yeah, we came up this way. All right, let's go deal with this guy. Wasted. We have to kill enemies to get our our force uh, our force bar filled back up. So, all right, I think we're done here. Let's go. Hold on, can we get over here from going this way? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll bet you I'll bet you we have to use like a force push or pull or something on that to knock it down. It's kind of funny though that the if that's true, it's kind of funny that they put that in the game this early on when we don't have those skills yet. Open world, what is going on, dude? How are you, man? You <laughs> you Mariski, what thing of thing of did you love? 
There was lots of thingamadoodles. Alright, we should be able to annihilate this guy. Here we go. Ouch. This will be fun. Anybody else? That's a long ways down. S-Comp link must be repaired to operate this device. Okay, we've run into a couple of these unopenable chests now. We have to get an S-Comp link thingamadoodle repaired for that to work. Yeah. Okay. And we got a new save point. We like save points. Oh boy. It's going to be fun going in there. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so let's rest and save. Okay. Alright guys, well I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I know we, we kind of uh, backtracked a little bit and d did a couple of things over again, but um, uh, I just didn't realize that you had to save first or you would lose uh, all of that progress. So we Ladies will pick up right... Open world act has come to <laughs> my announcements street. are interrupting me. I am really happy to see you, my friend. Okay, uh, we will pick up right uh, here when we come back in the next episode and continue on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.